How's it going guys and welcome back to the channel. Hope you're all having a great day. So in today's video we're back on the old Dakota here and we're going to be replacing the front brakes on it because it's definitely a need for it. So I'm going to pop down the tailgate here and show you guys what I got. I already opened the box here so it's not a true unboxing but ordered this kit off of eBay, the eBay special, but the company had really good reviews so I'll take people's words for it. So it came with everything including a small thing of brake fluid which is nice. Got the set of pads, one set for each side, and then there's some shims or clips for the pads if you need those. I'm not sure if I'll need them. And then got the silver zinc plated drilled and slotted rotors, which are really nice because right now I think I just have the normal steel ones on the front. So this should be a nice little upgrade for it. So I'm gonna stop the talking, jack up the front end of the truck, get the wheel off, and We'll start replacing these brakes. Also forgot to mention guys, I also picked up some wax and grease remover and some blue caliper paint because while I have the brakes off, I might as well shoot them with some paint and make them look nice. So we're going to be doing that as well. Well, as you guys can see, we finally got the wheel and tire off and we got the front end over here up on some blocks to keep it stabilized while we pull off the other side but now in order to get the caliper and rotor off there's one bolt up top seven millimeter allen and then one down below and then you use a big flathead screwdriver to pop out this clip that'll separate the caliper off of the rotor and then we'll be able to pull the rotor off and then we'll hang up the the caliper up here somewhere just gonna make sure we're not hanging from the the brake line back here and then we'll clean this up with wire wheel and prep it for paint. So I'm gonna get to work on that right now. Hey mustache, what's up? All right guys, so as you can see, we finally got everything off of the driver's side here. The next step is to prep this caliper for paint, but before we do that, let's hop over to the passenger side and get all that knocked off real quick. And we're back, just time lapse that real quick. No, you've shown it in detail twice. Now that both sides are off, we can start prepping these calipers for paint. So looking forward to that. Just gonna use the wire wheel on the grinder here and knock off as much rust and debris as I can. And then we'll get ready to shoot some of that blue caliper paint that I have. And I'm also gonna try to clean up some of this other stuff as well and I'll shoot it with some black there. So looking forward to that and let's get back to work. All right guys, so after a long while, we're finally ready to start shooting some paint on the calipers here. We wiped everything down with the brake cleaner first, and then we went through and wiped everything down a second time with the wax and tar remover, or the wax and grease remover, whatever you want to call it. Got the calipers all taped up here and got some other things blocked off with some old shop rags, and we're gonna get ready to start shooting the blue on here, so let's get to work. We got both sides prepped and should be a quick spray through, so let's paint the driver's side first, and then we'll hop over to the passenger side. Well, there you have it, 
guys everything's all painted and cleaned up i think it came out pretty good hopefully this paint holds up and lasts a while because i did paint them once before but i just used regular generic paint and that didn't work at all so hopefully this caliper paint works out looking forward to getting on the new parts and getting it all put back together look who showed up hey is that a new vehicle in the back i see for yeah oh check it out is that a diesel? Yeah, no diesel. Sadly not. You, are you going to swap it? Yeah, I could. Uh, since you're leaving, what do you think of the brake job? You said it ain't no powder coat. It ain't no powder coat. But I can't say nothing. Mine's rusty. It's caliper paint. It'll do. It'll do just fine. Well, I guess you're going to go cut some grass now. Yeah. Have fun with the new whip. Oh, yeah. have it guys a little side by side of the old stuff compared to the new this is the driver side this is the passenger side as you can see these pads were really worn down trying to get the camera to focus like there's barely anything left on that compared to the new one like that's a big old difference there so and also we had some problems going on here with the rotor that's no good. Flip this one over. Had some grooving going on here. That's not good either. So out with the old, in with the new. Well guys, as you can see, it's actually the next day here. It did get a little late on us last night and the rain rolled through today, so everything got all wet. I did end up getting the rotors and calipers back on the truck here off camera. I just didn't have the time to go around and film that uh, reinstall, but you guys could see how it came off and it just goes back on in the same way. But as you can see, it's looking great. I'm really satisfied with how it came out. I love the blue on there. It is a little bit of a darker blue compared to the the truck paint but i think it's it's all right for the for the install jump around here the passenger side as you can see that side's looking fresh as well so hopefully that'll look really good through my wheels here those do need cleaned up as well and we'll probably end up doing another video to clean up the inside of the wheels here because those are disgusting i did do a video a while back i'll link it up above of me refinishing the inside of those wheels but over the last two or three winters it didn't hold up that well so maybe we'll try a different route to restore those wheels so if you guys missed out that video go check it out but for the time being let's get back onto the dakota here throw on the wheels and lower it back down on the ground both front wheels are finally thrown back on the old Dakota here I think the brakes came out awesome you can see them through the wheel there now if I was to do this again I'd try to find a blue that was a little bit lighter that way it could match the paint but I still think they came out great the wheels do still need cleaned up so that should make them look even better once we get around to that the whole truck actually needs a detail and hopefully we can get around to that here soon still need to get that rust fix and that's a, that's a big concern of mine. I definitely want to get that rust fixed. I know I've been talking about it for a while, so hopefully we'll get around to that. But yeah, guys, super happy with how the brakes came out. Hopefully they perform well, and hopefully that paint holds up. It did call for a cure time, and you almost have to bake them, but I heard from other people that if you just drive it like for half an hour or so and stay heavy on the brakes, the heat from the brakes will actually cure that paint up. But I'm gonna wait for this rain to pass, and maybe we'll do that tomorrow. And I'm not gonna film it, obviously but 
I'll keep you guys updated in the future. Hopefully that paint holds up. But yeah, guys, let me know what you think. Leave a like if you enjoyed this video. Drop a comment. Let me know what you think. And I guess we'll just sign off with the usual. And we'll catch you in the next one. Always accelerate and don't look back. See you next time.